welcome back to my channel thanks all for your support i'm going to do a quick tutorial today on how to taper a jeans trouser this is an alteration that's the jeans trouser the leg is too wide so i'm going to be showing you how to taper it to make the leg more slim fit stay tuned okay well, this is the jeans trouser before i taper the leg i just want to show you the jeans trouser so i'm going to be tapering the leg the leg at the moment are too wide the bottom part of this is the legs are too wide so i'm going to be showing you how to taper it to make it more slim fit okay well, the first thing you need to do is turn the jeans out you need to turn the jeans to the wrong side jeans to the wrong side then you open the legs out so I'm going to be showing you one leg because I'm going to do the same on the other leg so you are going to take a razor or your seam ripper and lose this point so we are going to be working with the side that is not stitched down okay good in this case both sides of the jeans it has a proper seam in some case this seam is stitched down like that but in this case it's not stitched down so you can take it in at both sides you can take it in at both sides so i'm just going to get my seam ripper and i'm going to lose both ends here so i'll do the same on the other leg as well okay also i'm losing the side now this is the bottom of the jeans so i'm just taking the seam the thread off so i can easily sew it so i just want to show you quickly how i take how i use my seam ripper this is a seam ripper we will be having this in our website very soon in case you want to buy it our website is www.sophiataylorin.co.uk in case you want to order fabrics, we sell fabrics, trimmings, haberdasheries, and ready-to-wear clothing. And also, of course, we do tailoring and we ship worldwide as well. So I'm going to be making a video about our website and what we sell. And also a video, the video we include inside my shop and the workshop, where my shop stroke workshop. I call it so I have taken the seam apart this is the bottom leg I've taken the seam off because you need to take the seam off like this so you need to take the seam off on both sides not all the seam as you can see I've only taken it to a certain point to like about two two to three and uh, two or two inches or three and three inches I've taken it I've done it on this leg and I've also done it on the other leg is the other leg as well you can see that it's very wide at the moment so I'm going to reduce it this is 20 I measure it so you see the wideness of this is 20 can you see that this is 20 so I'm going to be reducing it to 16 to 16 so I'm going to be taking about three inches off it between three four inches of it so i'm going to be making it 16. this is 20 at the moment okay also you are going to be needing we are going to be needing this color of thread because if you look at the bottom of the jeans trouser it has a good thread so you need a good thread to to hem it back when you finish tapering it or taking it in so we are going to be using this gold thread and we're also going to be using the navy blue thread to sew it at the, at the same side on both sides okay so I'm going to be sewing it in the machine now and I'll show you what I do okay everyone so I'm going to take my measurement tape and I'm just going to measure where I need to stop where I need to start taking it in and where I need to stop I'm just going to lose here out a bit more 
just to give me a bit more room to walk on the trouser properly. Just take your seam ripper. If it's too tight, lose it a bit more. That's why you need the gold thread to stitch it back. Okay. So because we want 16, we are going to be dividing the opening. On this side, we are going to be taking some inches here. We are going to take you some inches there as well. So it's even. It's not looking um, somehow. So I'm just going to mark one and a half inches here. You can use any color of chalk. I'm using blue chalk. So I mark one and a half inches here. And I will also mark one and a half inches on the other side here. So as I say, you can lose it more if it's too tight for you to work with. Just lose the seam more. Just lose the seam out more. And then you measure one and a half inches from this seam here. Measure one and a half inches. Okay, so from there, I'm only going to taper it in from this point to maybe around, you just, you narrow it in from this point. You just narrow it, you sew it, and you narrow it in to meet the original seam somewhere there so that's all i'm going to be doing i'm just going to start the station from there and narrow come down 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 narrow it and end somewhere around the knee or before the knee so take it to my sewing machine So you can see all I did was to take it from the one and a half inches line. I don't know if you can see it properly. I took it from the one and a half inches line. Hope you can see it properly. So I took it from this line here and I stitched it as I'm sewing, I narrow it. You see that I narrow it to meet the original seam towards the knee or on top of the knee, one of those. So that's all you need to do. So I'm going to be doing the same on this side as well. And then when I, afterwards, I'll measure it to make sure it's now 16. Once it's 16, I'll do the other leg, the same thing. And then I'll come back and show you how I fold this down. Because afterwards, I'm going to have to overlock it. It's too much fabric. So I'll show you. Stay tuned. Okay. Uh, so I've decided I'm not going to overlock the same I'm just going to fold it in so I'm just going to fold the seam in like this say flat turn it in turn it again so turn it in twice just in case the person decide they want to let it out in case they decide they want to let it out so they have the allowance there still so I just fold it back down. See, I fold it back down. So I'm taking it to the machine now. I'm going to stitch it. I'm using the gold thread now. I'm using the gold thread now. I hope you can see. I'm using the gold thread. So I'm just going to stitch it. To do the same to the other leg as well 
And when I finish or iron it, when I finish or iron it, I'll show you how it looks like. Okay, also, the trouser is done. So if I measure it, you can see it's 16. Hope you can see it. You can see it's 16. So all I'm doing now, I'm just pressing it. So it lies flat. So you need a steam iron to press it so it lies flat. So all I will do, I'll do the same to the other leg. And it's done. So you just turn it out. This is the second leg. And we just use the iron to steam press it. Make sure you measure both of the legs. So make sure they are measuring the same. So you measure it to make sure they are measuring the same. You can see that it's 8, that's 16, that's what the person wants. Okay, so I'm just going to turn the trouser out. Turn the trouser out. Then you can iron it properly again if you want to but that's it so thanks guys for watching if this video was helpful please like share subscribe and leave a comment thanks and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye